Hey guys, so today I am going to go through my palette collection with you guys and just show you all of my palettes. There are so many. Um, and I know it's probably going to be a really long video, so I'm just going to start it now. So, as you can see, there are a lot, so we are going to just start off by grabbing all of my little Avon quads and I'm gonna collect them all from the pile and then we'll go through these and then we'll move on. So I actually have 11 of these Avon quads and so the first one is in Mod Muse and it looks like that, really nice. And then this one is in Grin and Barrett. Very pretty. This one in Steel Blues, which is really nice. Then we have this one in Chocolate Sensation. This one in Stone Tops. This one in Glow Teal. Try and just get better lighting for you guys. Thought this would be good. Um, Berry Love, which actually is one of my favorites. This one is in Purple Haze. Romantic Mobs. And down to the last two, Urban Skyline, which is a really gorgeous one as well. They're all really good, but um, I like that. Emerald Cut is the last one. So next I got all my little Almay ones because I know I have a lot of these. And so I have four of these ones and I have eight of these ones. So this one is Smoky for green eyes, of which I love them all, so I don't care if they're for a certain color eye. I'm gonna get them. This one is um, Bold Nudes for Hazels. Oops. This one is Shimmer for Hazel. And the last one of these is Bold Nudes for Greens. Now in these ones, this one is Party Breaks for Hazel. They're a little messy. This one is Evening Smoky for green eyes. This one is Evening Smoky for blue eyes. This one is Party Brights for green. This one is Everyday Neutrals for Brown Eyes. And Party Brights for Blue Eyes. I think. 
everyday neutrals for green eyes. Very pretty. And last but not least is Evening Smoky for hazel eyes. And honestly, Elme formula is really good, even in these small ones. Um, but they get messy real easily because they're very crumbly. Next, I have three of these Avon palettes. And so this one is the Nudes. And you see the fourth shade has a line through it. That is because my nail hit it at one point quite a while back. And this one is the metallics, which this one is by far my favorite. It's really pretty. And this one is the blues. Another really pretty one. They're all really good formula too. Next, I have three of the City Mini palettes by Maybelline. And so this first one is in Rooftop Bronzes. And that's what that one looks like. Really beautiful. The formula on these mini palettes um, by Maybelline are really nice, um, but I like all their palettes. This next one is in Concrete Runway. And that's what that looks like. And then the last one I have is actually the very first one I got. This is the City Mini Palette um, with Shayla, the collab they did with Shayla. And this one is really beautiful. I have two of the Rimmel London Magnifies palettes. This is the Electric Violet palette. Really pretty. And this is the Jewel Rocks one, which is very pretty as well. Next are these mini um, little trios and palettes that I actually got from Dollar Tree. And, you know, for a dollar, you probably wouldn't think it's good, but I really actually like them. Like, they're not the best, of course, but for a dollar, they're really good. So, we have the... Wait, these don't have names. No, they're a dollar. Why would they? There's that one. And that's the second one. Which this little trio right here reminds me of my Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions palette. Um, of which we will be getting to eventually. The third one, it's a little different designed. I noticed, see, they have black lines on the that one, but not on these two, it's really weird. But anyway, that is what that one looks like since we have no name palettes. Then the two little trios, of which we have names on these, yes. Maybe the LA colors, like they got names too, okay. So it's just color made so that's chipping us out of a name. So this one is Lotus. These do not wanna open. I remember struggling with these two days ago when I bought them and <laughs> it doesn't make me happy. So yeah, again, this one is Lotus, really pretty. And Water Lily. At least they got some nice rough, or not rough, uh, tough packaging. Ooh, oopsies. Mm -hmm. 
for a dollar, that's pretty good packaging. Look at that. Beautiful. And then the last three from the dollar store is another LA Colors one. And this is their nude one. Okay. So, little story. This one was broke, and I didn't even pay attention because we were at the dollar store, and I was like, a dollar. I put it in there. I was like, let's try it out. I didn't realize that was broke. We get back, and my mom decided she was going to um, put alcohol in it and try to reset it. it. Feels like clay now. Yeah. The rose one. These two aren't broke, at least. And the smoky one, of which looks real cute. I haven't even swatched the rose or smoky one yet because I actually got those two yesterday, but I got the nude one like two days ago. So, yeah. Now, these are my wet and wild. So, I have this first um, little palette in floral values and see wet and wild likes to give us names too and you know what they're cheap too they're not as cheap as a dollar but they're cheap and they're great quality and they give us names and i have the two um fire and ice little quads so this one is in fit for a queen And this one is in, where was I looking? Mythical Creatures. I feel like that broke a little. That brown was just like crumbly. See, it's like crumbly. Yeah, well, still good. And then I have four of these little ones and Whoa, 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 whoa. Oops. They're the same thing. Well, I have three of these little things. And this one is in Don't Steal My Thunder. The little trios. And this one is in Walking on Eggshells. And the third one is in Sweet as Candy. Now I have my five pan palettes and I have four of these. This one is the Rosé in the Air. Um, so these are really nice palettes. I really like how they reformulated. I've liked their formula the whole way through though, because they do have a good formula for the price. This is a comfort zone. With that gorgeous dual chrome. This one is Nude Awakening. And then last one is Not a Basic Peach. Oops. Ooh, 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 I love these palettes. So next I have four of the little Revlon Colorstay palettes and all I need is the Insider one and then I have just a random Avon one and then a random, um, this was the duo, duo I was um, thinking about is the Mana Kadar duo. So let's get into all of them. So first is the Maverick palette. And I honestly can't believe how amazing Revlon's um, formula is. My only complaint is how small the pans are because they're so small and you don't get that much product and you pay um, like $8 a piece. I don't know, that's how much I paid for these. Ignema palette. Oh. 
that is what that one looks like. The original palette. This is the least interesting out of all of them, but you can see why. And player, which is, I think, my favorite. It's so pretty and bright. And then, okay, so this, I've never heard of this brand, but I, I received this in a giveaway I won. So this is the Mana Kadar um, Medusa Duo. And... They actually are really beautiful formula and everything. So, yeah. I want to check that brand out more. And then this is a oldie, but goodie, in a way. Um, I just kind of hold on to my uh, palettes because of sentimental value. Anyway, um, this one is in... This is the true color eyeshadow quad in Candy Sweets. And very bright, pretty colors. Next I have just this little, um, the little elf palettes and stuff. So I have this bronzer um, little quad in Cool. And, oh, sorry about that. It's a really beautiful bronzer. And then I have this blush palette in light. Because this was literally the only one I could use out of their blushes that I saw at Kenny Drugs. So, yeah. And... Next are three little Mad for Mads ones, except for this one. This is the Rose Gold Nude palette, of which I've loved on this one a lot. It's so beautiful. And then I have two of the Mad for Mads. This is the Nude Mood. These ones are kind of hard to open too. And Elf is another one that has really good quality shadows for a really cheap brand. Or a really cheap price. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm crazy. And this is the Mad for Matt Summer Breeze. Really beautiful. So next, I just found some random small ones that were left in the pile besides the ones I went through. And then also, I have just like my Maybelline ones before I get into my bigger palettes. So, um, this is the Laura Geller Blush and Brighten Cheek. Um, so, it's a blush and it's really pretty. I like it better as a highlight, to be honest. I don't know why, but I don't think there's much pigmentation. I just feel like it works better as a highlight. And I have an Anastasia Blush Trio in Pool Party. And this one is my very favorite. And my favorite thing to do is to mix these two colors. So gorgeous. Then I have the Too Faced chocolate chip or the mini white chocolate chip palette and that is that really beautiful little unique palette i love Too Faced packaging so much and then this is my only huda beauty obsessions palette i want to get the other ones so badly and the new neon ones they came out with but this one is my very first one I got, and I love this. This is the Coral Obsessions. So, really gorgeous. So, here are my, like, bigger Maybelline palettes. So, this is the Burgundy Bar, of which is one of my absolute favorite 
palettes from them. It's absolutely stunning. Then we have the Total Temptation, which is a highlight palette. Um, well, it's got two highlights in it, and then it's got some eyeshadows around it. Um, the highlights are really gorgeous, and the shadows, they're okay. Then I have the Blushed Nudes. This was my first Maybelline palette. And then the Makeup by Shayla um, collab with Maybelline, the City Mini palette, was my second one. This was my first, and I've used it quite a bit. It's a little dip in that one. A little, little dip. And then I have my Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette, which... I really love these two palettes, but the Soda Pop was my favorite. Ow, I just pinched my finger in there. Very beautiful. So these are my um, smaller BH Cosmetics palettes. So this is the Summer Lovin' palette. All right, there we go. And they're smaller pans, but they're super cute. And then the next one is the Moroccan Sunset. And they give you so many colors. You can do so many looks with just a little small palette. And then the Midnight City palette, which has so many gorgeous colors. And the Midnight Affair palette which is a lot of purples and yeah. And then I have one from the Marble Collection and this is in Warm Stone. Yeah, that's really pretty. Simple but pretty. So next are my Makeup Revolution palettes. So I have the Makeup Revolution Collab with Soap um, Highlighter palette and it's really so gorgeous, seriously gorgeous. And then I have the Revolution Pro Regeneration Trends Celestial palette. They have so many different palettes and oh, they're all such good formula. Makeup Revolution is another cheaper one and they have so many beautiful palettes and so many different shades. This one is the Revolution Pro Regeneration Astrological. Astrological. And there's that one. And then I have some of their like chocolate bar um, palettes. This is the I Heart Revolution Chocolate Cherry Palette. And then we have the I Heart Revolution Macaroons Palette. I really love the packaging on these two. I can't wait to have the whole collection of these because they're really gorgeous and great formula and everything. I Heart Revolution Violet Palette. And the I Heart Revolution Galactic Palette. And like I said, they're all gorgeous. Oof, yes. Next are my BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection palettes. And I actually have all four. And yeah. So hold on. I'm going to put a different palette over it so it's not so much of a glare. The first one is the Smoke. And these are really hard to get open. Ooh, so 
pretty. And then the next one is the Gilded. The next is L'Amour. And then the last one is Rose. Rose. So cute. Next, I have one of my favorite collections are my Too Faced. So I have the Sugar Pop palette, and that's what it looks like. Very, very cute. It's my favorite one. Well, one of my favorites out of the tin ones. And then we have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow, and this is like, they give you a highlight a blush and a bronzer and it's like perfect for me so then i have the chocolate gold palette of which we all know is absolutely stunning one of my favorite Too Faced palettes then we have the Too Faced chocolate bar which of course smells like chocolate it has to. And then we have the Love Palette. And look at that. Very cute. Then we have the Chocolate Bonbons Palette, which also smells like chocolate. Because it has to. And the Too Faced Life's a Festival Palette. And yes, just yes. Next we have an, um, another set of random ones and like ones I have one of. Um, the, this I threw in because I forgot to include it when I was going through my elf. It was like mixed in. As you could see, the pile was huge. Um, and it's just getting down now. So this is the elf baked palette. Really beautiful colors. And then I have the Beauty Creations Baked Pops, and then it, it's actually a highlight palette, and it's really stunning, and it's quite cheap too. Then we have the Glam Metals palette by Crown Pro, of which I know, I feel like I've only seen two palettes by them. Please let me know in the comment section below if they have more palettes because, or like eyeshadows and like good products from them because I want their other one, but I only have this one and it's really nice formula. Next, we have a palette by Ulta Beauty. This is the Watercolor Wanderlust palette. And that is the palette and it says, Open your eyes and see the beauty because we're all beautiful. And then last in the randoms is this NYX highlight and contour palette. So you open it up and it's actually got only two highlights and then all the rest are like contour shades and to lighten it up. And they came in broke, so I reset it, and I don't have a tool to reset it, so that's why they look like that, but they work amazing still, so. Yeah. I have two of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, so I have Subculture, which is beautiful, especially the two um, shimmers that we got in here. And then Prism, of which is even more beautiful. Next is my Urban Decay. Okay, and now next we have 
my Urban Decay palettes. I had to move my position because my phone died, so I had to plug it in, and now I'm over here. So first, I have my Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. And just gorgeous. And then I have my Urban Decay Elements palette. And that was my first Urban Decay palette, actually. This is my Urban Decay Distortion palette. We have Born to Run, because who doesn't have this palette, honestly? Everyone needs that palette in their life. And I have Vice 4, which came in this little pouch. And so that's what it looks like on the outside. And then the colors. I can't wait to get Vice 1, 2, and 3 as well. And then I have my Naked palette. So first, we're gonna start off with my Naked 2. I don't have number one yet, but I can't wait to get it. Really pretty. I actually did a look uh, like two days ago on my makeup account on Instagram. This is Naked 3. And it came out really nice. I really love the Naked palettes. This is Naked Reloaded. And Naked Heat, which is my absolute favorite. Now I have my bigger Avon palettes. So this is the Pretty and Neutrals palette by Avon. And they're a really good formula. But this one is the best formula out of all of them. This is the I Dream of Glam. You can get it, I. <laughs> um, and it's by Mark which is a brand by Avon. And that's gorgeous. The swatches are amazing too. This is the Avon Mega Mix and Go palette. And you open it up and you have all those eyeshadows. And then you move it like that. And you got some lip products, some face products. Pull this out. And you got more eyeshadows and some more lip products. And then there were extras that were in here. Little items. And our last Avon palette is this one. And this is the... Makeup Studio Palette. And so in here you get some face products and some lip, um, yeah, some lip products and also some eyeshadow. So next are some more BH Cosmetics and then I have another stack because BH Cosmetics is um, the brand I have the most of. And so this is the Black Light Highlight Palette which is one of my most favorite highlight palettes, to be honest. Then you have the classic blush palette, which are really pretty colors. And also the nude blush palette, which are really gorgeous as well. 
Then I have the Modern Neutrals palette. The Foil Eyes. Oh, this is not want to come open. Oh. And it's really, really pretty. And as well as the foil eyes, too. Which looks like that. Moving on to all of the rest of my BH palettes. I have the older style of the It's My Ray Ray palette. And so you get face products and then you get eyeshadows and they're really beautiful next i have the solar flare palette and bh cosmetics baked formula is absolutely gorgeous and it performs so nice the galaxy chick really pretty as well I have Aurora Lights and I have Supernova and then I have the Take Me Back to Brazil. I don't have Take Me to Brazil, but I have the Take Me Back to Brazil. And it looks like that. And then I have the Take Me Back to Brazil, or yeah, Take Me Back to Brazil Rio edition. And I like to use these together because the normal one has a lot of mattes and this is like all shimmers. So they go really nice together. I have the Color Festival palette. I really like BH Cosmetics packaging. They make them really pretty. This had come broke and I had to repress it. This is the Weekend Festival palette, which is a very beautiful one, very colorful. And the Royal Affair palette. Now, the bigger ones, I have the BH um, Studio Pro Ultimate Ar Artistry Palette. And this is one of my favorites as well. You get so many shades, so many colors. Um, there's so many looks you can do. And really, the formula is amazing. I have the Zodiac Love Signs palette, and I have the regular Zodiac palette. I have three Tarte palettes, so I have the Tarte High Tides and Good Vibes, and look at that, that's cute, palette. and. I'm not a big fan of glitters, but these glitters in this are really pretty and they perform so nicely. Then I have the TARDIS Pro Glow 3 palette, of which you guys would know if you have already seen my Boxy Charm slash Boxy Lux video for June. It looks like that. And so you get your blushes, your highlights, and your bronzers. No, I've already got it. I've already got it. And the last one for Tarte is the Tardis Pro Remix. And this is a really pretty palette. And I'm learning to really, 
or I'm learning that I really love Tarte Formula and their palettes and because they have really nice packaging, not only the designs, but um, they're just really good, nice hard packaging. And yeah, the formula and everything, everything's really good about it. I have three ColourPop palettes. So this is my ColourPop, um, my Little Pony palette. So it looks like that. Really bit, a really pretty palette. Then I have the ColourPop um, Disney palette. It's a princess thing. And those are the colors. And then the ColourPop, um, also Disney Villains Misunderstood palette. And that one looks like that. So I have three from Profusion. And the first one is the Posh palette. And that looks like that. And then I have the Profusion a nine shade nine shade highlight palette which is stunning just like the makeup revolution one and i have the pro pigment palette oops brush came all the way up and now it's going back down no there we are i have some more randoms so this is actually a build your own um, Alme palette. And so I got three of the little quads and those are the ones I have. Then two palettes I got from Five Below. This is um, Dream Chaser from Color Story. And it looks like that. It's actually really pretty. And it says your po your potential is endless. And then this one from Beauty Treats, the Modern Metallic Palette. And it's really pretty. And then I have the um, Hot Topic Black Heart astronomical palette which is really cute see that yeah gorgeous and these are actually the last of my palettes we have gone through all of them but these so let's go through these this is the mac hyper real glow highlight palette and this is the highlights, they're really stunning. And one of my personal favorites is the Smoke Sessions palette by Melt Cosmetics. And Melt Cosmetics has really good formula. It's really beautiful. They are a little pricey, but really gorgeous. The I Am Divine palette by Kat Von D. I just have to show that because look at that. <laughs> Hi. And then we have New Tood by The Balm. We have Lorac Pro 1. And the Rock Pro 2. We have an Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit. And these are really pretty. They're really pretty. I definitely want to try out more of her um, glow kits, but that is the only one I have right now. And then I have one from Cargo Cosmetics and this is the Blockbuster eyeshadow palette. And it's pretty big, 
but big variety of colors. So many warm looks you can make. I have the Morphe 35M Boss Mood and this is what this one looks like. And then my last palette, yes, my inspiration. Oh, Jeffree Star. Hold on, gotta get out of the box. The Alien palette. Yes. Oh my gosh. Every time I look at it. I don't like to use this a lot. Only for the reason that I don't want to, you know, ruin the stars. They're so pretty and all the different indents and the alien and the spaceship and everything. Yeah. So that actually is everything. That's it, and thank you guys for watching. I'm sure this is very long, but thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and please make sure to give this video a big like. So, um, that's it. Bye, guys.